I'm just glad you're with us. Cicadas are here. Yes, we have seen them. We have proof. <laughs> For days, we've been telling you about the ominous sounding brood X, brood 10, mm. zillions of cicadas poking their beady eyed selves out of the ground after 17 years to buzz and mate and really creep out some of your neighbors, <laughs> like our own WATE Six on Your Side reporter, Kirsty Crawford. Yeah, she's back here in the studio now with our no cicadas in here with our top story and a solid case, I guess, of the heebie jeebies. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lori Bo and viewers. So my assignment today was to get up close with bugs and snakes. The connection, aside from being two things I really don't like, is that we wanted to see if there's any truth to the notion. You may have seen recent posts on social media that certain snakes love cicadas. And the insect onslaught could mean more potentially dangerous close encounters with those snakes. 17 year cicadas are here. <laughs> yes, they are. And Linda Taylor has already seen plenty on her tree. It's a, it's a lot of them. So and I think we're going to have a lot. So I think it's going to be pretty noisy out here. Taylor hasn't heard them like this yet, but the empty exoskeletons means they've already popped out. We found one adult. And they'll be ready to mate soon. The good thing about that, they won't be treats for venomous predators. Copperheads eat cicadas kind of the same reason we eat like fast food. Uh, it's really cheap and, and quick. At first, they are defenseless and a great source of protein. Easy pickings for the snakes. The copperheads won't be able to eat cicadas once they finish becoming adults and grow wings. Once their exoskeletons harden, um, it's a little bit harder for a snake to catch and swallow one. Once they can fly, a, a copperhead's not really going to be able to catch them that easily. Experts tell me that doesn't mean you'll see more snakes slithering into your yard out of nowhere, which is good news for this homeowner. Well, I hope I don't see one. <laughs> I don't want to see one. <laughs> We didn't see any unopened exoskeletons on her tree, but she can't wait to see and hear how many adults will be making noise. Every day I'll probably come out and check and see what's going on. Now, copperheads like to hide under things, and when I went to Zoo Knoxville today, that's exactly how we first found the copperhead. So experts say make sure to clear your yard of any debris, and if you do see a copperhead, it's more afraid of you than you are of it, most likely, because for me, I'm pretty sure that it's the opposite. Bo? I think you and me both. All right, thank you, Kirsty. Humans can be predators for cicadas as well, so if you have not had your fill of them, we've got some ideas for cooking. Yes, cooking cicadas, plus a bunch more facts about the bugs that we're, well, we're all going to be living with here this summer, at least for a few months. Uh, just go to WAT.com for all of our cicada coverage. We'll have it for you there.